It is Friday the 13th. So happy Friday the 13th. Uh, Black Mass Experience. New 360 Horror. Threw that up on the channel. Go check that out if you guys have been uh, into the VR stuff and everything. Not gonna lie. Super rough morning. Another gray cloudy day out. Wow, that actually looks a lot better on camera. Hmm. That make me look like a liar, do you? You want some breakfast? Okay, hold on. Gotta grab some peanuts. Some peanuts, sir? There you go. Roll the intro. something to eat I was watching the Michael Bisbing GSP well UFC 217 press conference uh, super gray day out, so the lighting is actually better in the room um, but either way engage in the MMA minute all right so the UFC has successfully sold me on this fight more so Michael Bisbing and like the way he has like just been shit talking and taunting George St. Pierre this whole time. I don't think I've ever seen one of GSP's opponents like act like this. And I I don't know. I fucking love it. Bisbing has like sold this fight completely. Um and honestly, I'm kind of leaning towards him like winning this fight. He's been more active and I just I don't know, I see GSP being able to win with the wrestling and everything, but as far as stand-up goes, I kind of give it to Bisbing. Unless GSP throws one of those fucking ninja kicks in that, like, then you, you never know. Anything's possible in MMA, but, I, like, I'm sold on the Bisbing-GSP fight. I can, I have to see what happens. And now, good folks, in honor of Friday the 13th, I would like to uh, do a little movie review for the vlog. There's been a horror movie that I've wanted to see for a while, and I am finally am able to watch it now. Uh, it's an Eli Roth movie called Clown. Uh, I'm a huge fan of his Hostel movies. Uh, Hemlock Grove. I basically, I got to season three, and there's these weird, like, human manta ray type things. I just, I don't know. I've kind of lost interest in it, to be honest. Um, but as far as his movies go, I'm on board. Uh... I've heard a lot about this movie, a lot of folks that I follow on Instagram and everything that, like, I've heard a lot of horror movies through them, they say this is a good one, um, so, I'm gonna check it out, we'll get into a review. Alright, good folks, just finished watching Eli Roth's Clown. Right away, honestly, I enjoyed this movie, um, I like how it was more based off of, like, a, like, folklore tale slash, like, demon curse in a way instead of just again like here's a serial killer who likes to also dress like a clown that just we've seen that done so many times i like it when it kind of like is done in like this kind of way where it's like a demonic entity or like a curse of some sort um either way honestly i enjoyed this movie um i liked the like folk lore or like the fairy tale behind like the curse and everything so the story itself this kid's having a birthday party and the clown cancels so the dad actually like puts this clown suit on like he finds it puts it on not knowing that it's cursed and actually like turns its wearer into like this basically child hungry like demon and it also fucking sticks to them like you can't get this thing off of you so you know that doesn't help walking around in everyday life Peter Stormare played Chernabog in American Gods. He's in this, and honestly, I love his character in it. Uh, he kind of, like, knows the story of the suit and, like, kind of, like, knows how to, in a way, like, defeat it. Um, the one thing I am going to say I didn't like, the kind of, like, 
as with all horror movies, there comes the time in the third act when, you know, the hero goes against, like, the villain or the demon, whatever it is. I just kind of felt like that this was almost, it just, it felt too easy, in a way. I just, I don't know, it just, I don't know, it just, it felt like, I don't know, like I said, it just, it felt like it was just done, it was too easy. Uh, it's just, I don't know, kind of weird. But honestly, other than like that, like the final like fight being just like a little bit too easy or whatever have you, uh, I like this movie. I definitely recommend it. Um, not honestly, like if you're afraid of clowns, for sure don't watch it though. Uh, but if you're not, then definitely go enjoy this film, good folks. Clown by Eli Roth. And you know what, good folks? To close out the Friday the 13th vlog, Stranger Things 2 just dropped their final trailer. So let's enjoy that together, shall we? Man, still leaving Eggos? <gasps> oh, that's 11! I thought that was one of the boys. On Halloween night, we saw a sort of shadow. Maybe all of this is happening for a reason. These are not nightmares. Hmm. It's happening. And it all leads back to here. Halloween. You said it was all in his head. And what have you done? Nothing. What is wrong with my boy? I don't understand. Well, I love She was so So the w first thing I noticed um, in the one scene, I can't remember his name, but when <clears throat> uh, Nancy's boyfriend or whatever starts like more walking towards something that has his attention, it looks like Dustin is in the back, if that's his name, I can't remember right now. All of this just processing so fast. Um, it looks like he's arguing with everyone else back there. I mean, like he looks worked up about whatever's going on. Um... Looks like they're going to be recruiting more kids and everything, like, may, probably in the area. May, maybe they've experienced, like, something like the Upside Down or whatever has been going on as well. That'd be interesting. Um, the Sheriff. I don't know what was going on with him, but it looked like he was getting, like, sprayed and de-loused by, like, the guys in the hazmat suits and everything. Um, geez, I don't even know. <sighs> it's going to be a good one, folks. It said this Halloween, but I'm pretty sure it drops October 20th or something like that. Either way, between October 20th and Halloween, Stranger Things comes out. So, just to clarify. 
It's October 27th is when they all come out. October 27th. Alright, good folks, that's today's vlog. Before we close out, I actually want to clarify the, like, lighting comments, because I said those, and a real, for some reason in my head, they were just like, I should have clarified a bit more. So, there's not a lot of natural light, actually, to, like, brighten the room up and the way my living room's set up. The lamps are just, like, too far apart. I'm picky about lighting. You know what I mean? That's it. That's it. And the bedroom light has basically has a spotlight right here. So that's pretty sweet. Either way, thanks for checking out today's vlog. Happy Friday the 13th to everybody. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment below. Might not get a reply, but I promise I read them all. I'll give you a little thumbs up so you know that I've seen it. Roll the outro. Shh. Fucking noise again.